Hello there and welcome to this video. My name is Riley and today we're going to be discussing my top cryptocurrencies for 2018. And before I get into this video, I want to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice and this is just me giving you my personal opinion and the reasons why I think these cryptocurrencies will do well in 2018. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? The first cryptocurrency I've chosen for 2018 is none other than Monero. And for those who don't know, Monero is an open source decentralized cryptocurrency which focuses on delivering secure, private and untraceable transactions. Privacy coins are ever so important in this space and they are becoming more sought after as time goes on due to the fact that we are losing we are basically losing our privacy due to this new digital world and especially in money. One of the reasons I love Monero is it has such a great community behind it and the developers are really pushed regularly to make upgrades which ensures progress and renewed interest. And if you saw my Monero video, you would know that um, the Monero developers are pushed to bring out new updates every six months. So this makes sure that the project is evolving, it's moving forward, and it also increases the, um, investor interest, I should say, which keeps a good price um, action going. Also, one of the big things I talked about, which are really the biggest roadblock for Monero, is the fact that it has really big transaction sizes. And Monero are looking to implement something called bulletproofs. And this will basically reduce the transaction size by about 80%. And once they do this, once they get over this major hurdle and start sort of fine tuning their cryptocurrency, I see the sky as the limit for Monero. I really do like this coin. Um, and I think the technology is really good. The team is really good. And the idea is really good. And once this happens, it, I think it'll be very good in exciting times for the price action of Monero. The second one I want to talk about is Lisk. And Lisk is a blockchain application platform which allows JavaScript developers to build, publish, uh, distribute, monetize, um, and or do all other things with decentralized applications and with their own cryptocurrency. Also with the addition of Lisk, they have the, uh, the feature of allowing customized sidechains. And this is a very big thing in the Lisk protocol. List is targeting a huge area. Um, it's a it's its own niche, I guess. It's similar to other projects, but it's slightly different. Which but it gives it a lot a much different audience. It's kind of hard to describe because um, the list is basically aiming to become like the app store on the blockchain. It's going to have all these decentralized applications and act as the hub while acting acting as the place to develop them as well. So you have that front end and that back end, which is a really big thing. Also, the list platform and SDK are undergoing several upgrades over the next year and allowing developers to finally build upon its platform. And as I've talked about before, with development comes promotion and with promotion comes increased investor interest and price action and with that comes increased use and adoption which is the really the biggest factor that we um, as cryptocurrency investors are looking for because with more adoption comes better returns for us generally also we develop oh, I'm sorry I've just already uh, skipped a put, skipped ahead but that's all right My third cryptocurrency for 2018 is none other than Cardano. And for those who don't know, Cardano is a project which aims to develop a smart contract platform which doesn't really have the flaws of current other platforms like Ethereum. And it brings these new technological features with it to help this. It has a proof of stake algorithm which is named Ouroboros and it is very secure. It has never been compromised and is much more secure um, than things like Ethereum and this has become a really big thing with Ethereum the security we've had all sorts of hacks with it like for example look, the latest major one I should say was the parity wallet hack um, 
Another reason why I love Cardano is it has a really good strong team and a really good figurehead in it uh, with Charles Hoskinson, who was actually one of the Ethereum co-founders. So he's a really well-respected guy in the cryptocurrency space and a very um, smart guy and knows what he wants and knows what he's talking about when he's talking about blockchain. Also, Cardano is targeting a really wide range of applications, which means it has like much larger potential and it also is looking to introduce technologies such as side chains and elliptical curve cryptography. And ECC is basically a technology which makes a cryptocurrency and the blockchain platform quantum resistant to stop it from quantum computers. And this will be something which is uh, relevant over the next decade or so. Also, Cardano is very scalable. This is due to the fact that they use the proof of stake algorithm and they also have a consensus part which allows for slot leaders who are basically compared to miners on a proof of work chain. Um, they're not exactly the same, but they're sort of similar. They're the best comparison I can think of. It allows them to create and split their own blockchains, which will allow the network to spread out the workload and reduce congestion on the main chain. And they're also looking into sharding as it is possible on the chain, which sharding is another scalability solution and this would increase the performance of the cryptocurrency even more. My next coin is Litecoin. And Litecoin is a decentralized digital currency just like Bitcoin and it is actually a software fork of the Bitcoin protocol. It has had really huge growth recently due to a massive spike in interest from the community as well as advertising from Charlie Lee and others. Also, another reason why it's been getting so much attention is, and I'd, I'd probably even put this as the main reason, is that people are just sick of the slow transaction times and the really high fees for Bitcoins. Like I, the other day I transferred some Bitcoin onto an exchange because I was looking to trade altcoins. And I think once I bought, I bought the Bitcoin, uh, transferred it to and transferred it to the exchange I'd spent about 50 US dollars doing that so that is huge huge fees and Litecoin has much much lower fees and faster transaction times than Bitcoin which makes it at the moment much much more viable and also another reason why I think Litecoin will get in a lot of attention um, over the next year is because with increased Bitcoin interest um, Increased Bitcoin interest basically means increased altcoin interest because people see Bitcoin, they know Bitcoin, and then they get into it, and then they go, "What else can I buy?" And they see they go and say a lot of people use Coinbase. It's one of the most used exchanges in the world, or I'd probably say the most ex used exchange. And they say, "Oh, this one's called Litecoin, and it's way cheaper than Bitcoin, so I'm going to buy some of this." And they end up buying it, and the price moves up. And now, without further ado. My top cryptocurrency for 2018 is none other than, you heard it, it's Dogecoin. No, I'm kidding, it's not Dogecoin. It's Bitcoin. And we all know what Bitcoin is. If you're watching this video, you know what Bitcoin is. It's the first digital decentralized currency. And the reason why I have Bitcoin as my top pick is because a couple of reasons. First of all, Bitcoin is the crypto medium. And people, like I said before, they hear about Bitcoin way before they hear about other coins. So most, most people will buy Bitcoin before they buy other coins. And I do think probably moving on further from next year, this will begin to change. Um, but at the moment, Bitcoin is the medium. And that is something which causes it to... Um, gain so much appreciation and so much interest. Also, the fact that Bitcoin was the original coin and it's had so much growth over the past eight years or whatever it's been. And yeah. Also, another reason is the fact that Bitcoin futures are now being traded with the probability of other asset classes such as ETFs being introduced over the next year. And that's granted nothing crazy happens with Bitcoin in terms of like, say, the worldwide regulation and things like that. But this is really important because this institutional money that, are, that is coming in from these futures 
and these possible ETFs will really drive up the price as it even though it's at a couple of hundred billion this is really not much money if you compare that to something which is like in a stock market which has just billions or even trillions of dollars in it um, as well as also we do have the increased um, institutional investors but we also do have the everyday man woman like you and I and I guess for mass adoption to occur and for this to go mainstream we are really we have the power we are the ones who will decide when this goes mainstream and I think especially over the last god maybe over the last six months Bitcoin has just been getting so much attention and the community and the growth has just been going up so much like Probably, yeah, six months ago, people I talked to, no one would ever mention Bitcoin, but now everyone I know is basically talking about it and asking me about it. So it's kind of crazy. And so that basically wraps up my top five cryptocurrencies for 2018. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and a comment below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well, as I will be bringing out future videos on other cryptocurrencies very soon. As always, I'll catch you later. I'm not a